Hello, YouTube, and good morning at the very end of 2019. It's been a good year. Hope you all had a good one. I certainly have, although I haven't been publishing any videos uh, since February, basically. And uh, the reason for that is very simple. Uh, it's twofold. One, I uh, got a new job in January. So in February, I basically uploaded the last content that I had on my camera. And um, I moved house in October. So, yeah basically got a new job that I had to uh, drive a pretty long way for and uh, when I got home I basically had no energy left at all to do other stuff so I basically quit uh, recording videos I just didn't feel like doing them anymore and um, yeah later in the year I moved house I bought a house and this is basically what you're seeing right now this is the attic of the house in question and we officially moved in here in late uh, November so about a month ago now and uh, this is going to be the new setup where we're going to film videos at. Specifically more on the workbench area here on the right. It currently has a pretty okay-ish CTX CRT monitor that uh, I picked up last week. Or two weeks ago, I forget. But uh, yeah, it was free and it works fine, so that's great. But that's the uh, workbench area where we uh, hook up old computers and do tinkering. And. Uh, all the way in the back there is my main setup. We'll take a look at that shortly. And on the left there is the setup that belongs to my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, her computer and her iMac 5K. And uh, if you pan around even more, it's just a bunch of boxes, a radiator, uh, stuff for the laundry. Because it's also the laundry room, so you know, it's an attic. What do you expect? It's basically still very much a work in progress. It's definitely quite messy up here. Uh, you can't see most of it because it's pitch black and we only have one light source here. Well, it's not pitch black outside, but at least it is in here. So yeah, washing machine, dryer. Uh, not interesting at all. Regular junk. Uh, all the way uh, through the back there, by the way. There's my hand. Hi. Uh, are uh, the uh, network cables. We decided to still just go with Cat 5e because there's absolutely no reason uh, that we would ever want CAT6 for 10 gig up here, or CAT6A more specifically, that's fully certified for 10 gig at uh, these lengths. Um, we only have a 100 megabit internet connection, and uh, basically everything we have on the network is 1 gigabit. If we ever decide to go 10 gig, it's not that difficult to get a new cable uh, up here. It's, it's In fact, it's very easy. We just uh, push it down from here up, up to the attic in the corner, pull it down in the room beneath, and then feed it through to the cable box uh, on, the, on the first floor, or basically on the ground floor. So yeah, and then we just connect it to the cable box and that's done, or 10 gig switch we, we put up somewhere at that point. But that's that's really out of the question at this point, and completely off topic, as Jay's two cents would say, but I digress. So again, this is the workbench setup. It's a simple IKEA desk. Um, once we'll film videos, I'll take everything off and we can take a look at the object in more detail. And um, I think this will be a great little uh, video setup here. Nothing too special here. Just a couple of computers there that uh, are currently undergoing testing. The one on the right is connected at the moment, running Windows Vista. Just overclocking an Athlon 64 uh, X2 socket 939. Doing pretty well. Did some benchmark tests on it. It's running fairly good at the moment. One on the left is a Pentium 3 machine that we built from uh, the best of the components that we both had. Uh, it's a 1 gigahertz machine, 512 RAM. Um, still a copper mine, but works fine. Runs on an SSD. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Yeah, Vista machine is just a RAID, War, RAID 0 uh, WD Raptor for nostalgia reasons. And uh, basically, all of the machines are in this little corner over here as you can see on the bottom right uh, down there is my 486 the case there is empty that's just a flat panel display the white computer there is my lab server to do uh, test uh, VMs on 64 gigs of RAM Xeon E5 V2 very nice machine there is of course the marker server and in the back you can barely see it is an iMac G3 and uh, what used to be the network switch connected to that beam over there, but it seems to have fallen off again. I'll need to uh, figure that out. Uh, right there is my main computer, which is a Ryzen 5 machine, 3600X, 16 gigs of RAM. 
I used to have a full ATX machine, but I downgraded it to a micro ATX. I only have one expansion card anyway. Um, so that, that's an RX 5700 XT video card. Here is an IKEA desk, which you can actually uh, raise and lower manually, not electrically. It was 300 euros cheaper a desk, so for two desks that save 600 euros, that's definitely worth it. And that's my main setup. So currently I'm working on the Mac Mini 2018. I also have the Satachi USB-C docking station connected. Let's see if we can get a better look at that here in the corner. Uh, right over there. That dock is really handy. I'll do, an, I'll do a video soon on the uh, Mac Mini. Because that definitely needs some uh, further clarification. My main setup consists of these two BenQ PD2400Q 1440p monitors. These are very nice. They're uh, completely calibrated and uh, they work very well. They're very nice to look at. They're connected to a Visa monitor arm connected to the desk and uh, that leaves a hell of a lot of space underneath. And uh, so far I really love this setup, I really have to say. That's always a pro, when you move house you get a chance to do everything right the first time. And that's definitely what I did here, I feel. So uh, yeah, that is basically the overview of the new uh, setup that we're uh, currently experiencing here in our new house. So if we take a look back again at the uh, full shot here, you see the uh, big uh, cabinet in the middle. That is our game cabinet. That's where we store all of our games. And uh, I think that's basically full circle for this uh, introduction to the room and to my plans for uh, 2020, because I'm definitely going to be making videos again in 2020. Um, I really hope you all have a good year, have a good New Year's Eve, and uh, I hope to see you all again in the next year.